Every Tuesday night in high school, I would leave my pile of chemistry homework and all my tears from that homework at home so that I could pick up some of my friends for small group. Small group for me in 11th and 12th grade consisted of Caesar salad, a really good meal, and the softest chocolate chip cookies ever. Every week, a group of high school girls would gather around the Barnes dinner table to eat, read the Bible, ask questions about it, pray, and talk about life. This was my normal, and it was sometimes the highlight of my entire week. I loved the break from school, I loved learning from Kimberly, and I loved when she made her famous poppy seed chicken. But what I loved the most was having a close group of people to meet with every week that encouraged and challenged my relationship with Jesus. Because I was so impacted by that group, I grew to become a small group leader myself. I have been so fortunate to have led a few different groups over the years and have those relationships with students at different times in my own life. I loved it because I loved being around people and I love making friends and learning about others. I love encouraging younger girls and trying to be a light in their lives. But as we all know, that opportunity to be a light to others in person got extinguished for a short time when the world shut down because of COVID. COVID has been hard on everyone. I don't even need to say that, but what I learned from that time was how much I truly was around other people. Everyone's life was flipped upside down and we had to learn how to be alone. Isolation was being promoted and we have all suffered from that. And I personally think we are still all suffering from that. Today for our devotion, we are reading Hebrews 10, 19 through 25. This passage talks about how we have access to Jesus by his blood shed for us, and we can draw near to him with complete faith because he is faithful himself and he keeps all of his promises. But our relationship with Jesus does not stop with ourselves, for the author of Hebrews goes on to talk about how important other people are in our lives. Verses 24 and 25 say, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. When the world called for isolation, God still called for fellowship, even if it was over FaceTime. Being around other believers is biblical, and it is a command for us. We are called to meet with each other, and it is God's design for us to go through life together. God himself is in community with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, and he wants us to commune with others as well. We are so very lucky to have the opportunity to go to Beach Week to do this very thing, especially after such a difficult time of being forced to be alone. For some of us, it will be easy to jump back in, Some of us are pumped to pick back up where we left off in 2019, and that is awesome. But for some of us, however, Beach Week might be kind of hard. It might be challenging to be back in this type of environment with so many people for so many days in a row, but that's okay too. As we continue praying for Beach Week today, we want you to focus on the small group time. First, Spend some time thanking God that we get to hang out with other people at the beach this year. Thank him for the group that he has put together for you next week, and thank him for blessing us with the ability to talk about him openly with others in a public place. Next, pray for your leaders. Pray that they are preparing their hearts now and that they will let the Lord guide your small group conversation. Then I want you to pray for your friends. Pray that friendships will grow and be deep in this week. Pray that no one will be afraid to speak up and share what is on their heart. Pray that everyone will feel comfortable in this way during small group. And finally, pray that the temptation of isolation that we have been dealing with is not even present anymore. Pray that any fears of being so close together will be relieved and that everyone will enjoy each other's company whether that is during designated small group time, hanging out with your small group on the beach, or eating each meal together. Pray that true community will take place in all aspects of Beach Week and that we will all leave a better body of believers because of it. I am so excited to be back at Kingston Plantation. 
Small groups have been an important part of my life for so long, and I cannot wait to engage in them again during the absolute best week of the year.